What's happening, friend, and welcome to another four-wheel drive talk episode. Now, whether you're overlanding or off-roading, one of the most important things that you need in your vehicle is a good recovery kit. Now, obviously, recovery kit is necessary to you know, really get yourself out of sticky situations, but you can also use the gear to get friends or other folks that happen to be on the trail out of sticky situations as well. Think about it. You wouldn't drive your vehicle without insurance or... I think most of you want it and you wouldn't hit the open road on a long distance trip without fueling up first and on that note you shouldn't venture out without a recovery gear either now i know what you may be saying alex what makes a good recovery kit now first of all you should have a winch now on the front of my jeep you may recall i have a warren xeon 10. now i reviewed this a while back and if you want to check out the description i'll put a link to that so you can check out that as well if you're on a budget or you don't have a vehicle that really a winch is going to work well on there are other alternatives which cost a heck of a lot less you can jump on amazon they have these uh come alongs on there that are usually uh, sometimes between 40 and 80 bucks or so and you can pick yourself up a four ton now this is more of a mechanical kind of a winch deal but it's something that you can stick in your recovery bag in the back of your vehicle or somewhere in your vehicle and it's going to cost you a hell of a lot less now you should also have a good set of traction boards or recovery boards in your vehicle as well now Recovery boards are one of those items you get what you pay for. Because if you go to Amazon, you type in recovery boards, attraction boards, you're going to see there are options that start in like 30, 40 bucks area, all the way up to the mid 500s. This is one of those items that for my preference, I would say flex your budget. Get as much as you can afford on these here because these things can make a world of difference. And you know, I've seen traction boards where you get on them. You use them once and the little grippy things that they have on there get torn off because the, the traction boards are just really cheaply made. Um, there are a couple good brands out there. I know Max Tracks, which is what I use. There's Action Tracks, which is another uh, good brand. But again, flex your budget and you know, definitely look at the reviews on these. The next thing, you want to have a good tire patch kit and also a good shovel. Jeez, I should have said the shovel a moment ago. A good shovel is going to be worth its weight in your, your vehicle as well. Now, one thing I want to point out or kind of backpedal a little bit here. I just realized my volume is loud up on my computer. Now, one thing I'm just going to kind of backstep a little bit here. I was just thinking about your recovery kit is going to be determined upon what you, your level of how far off grid or what you're doing with your vehicle. So if you're just barely getting off pavement and just kind of dipping your toe into off-road, some of the items I mentioned here, you really, I mean, they're definitely worth their weight in gold and having, uh, but in all reality, you know, if you're just barely getting off of pavement versus somebody that is way the hell off grid, some of these items aren't as important as other. Uh, for example, on the, the winch side of it, if you're not getting off road a lot, yeah, I mean, that's definitely not one of the items that you need to, to really go out there and pick up, but you know, having a come along because it doesn't take much space in your bag and it's a good item to have in there, if not for yourself, to help others on the trail. But the other items that I've mentioned here are must have items, so you should have those. Now, as I mentioned, a tire patch kit and also a, man, a first aid kit. You watched some of my previous videos, you've heard me preaching about have, the importance of having a good first aid kit. Now, in my truck, I know I have one that's up on the ceiling. I think there's another one in the back as well. In my turtle back, there are two kits in that as well. So this is good for a case of your injury or you come across somebody else that is injured. Now, in addition to all that, you need things like uh, shackles, snatch blocks, and a recovery strap and a tree saving strap. And that's exactly what, well, actually, boom. That's exactly what we're going to be talking about here today from this kit from Tackle Tough. Now, I want to share with you guys a little story of how this company, how this company came to be or how I came aware of this company. A few weeks ago, you may recall, uh, I was up in San Diego's Creek filming two videos, one on the planner uh, portable diesel heater and then the other on the smart tent. Now, you may recall, if you watch these videos, I was kind of warning you, there was a lot of through traffic going behind me. And one of the, the folks that stopped by there, uh, Sandy, this gentleman, Sandy and his family, and we just started chopping it up and talking. He had a Jeep as well, so we kind of geek, got geeked out with the, the Jeep talk there a little bit. And he was telling me about the company that he worked for, 
built with recovery gear. I was like, wow, that's pretty impressive. And so a few days afterwards, I had the opportunity to meet up with the owner of the company. Now here's something, if you look at the pattern in the videos that I've done, and not only with just four wheel drive talk, but with all my companies, I've always been hypersensitive as far as which products that we recommend, because if you guys had a bad experience, well, it makes us look bad. Um, and so you'll notice that when it comes to recovery gear, there's certain items that you've heard me preach about, and there's certain items that I've gotten in front of you about, and there's others that I have not. Uh, when it comes to uh, tree savers, uh, uh, shackles, snatch blocks, and stuff like that, I have a, I've tested a few uh, kits in the past, and I wasn't really impressed. Now, when I met up with the owner of this company, so there's a few things that really impressed me about this company. First off, it's a family-operated business, which... You guys, you know me. I'm being ex-military is one. I'm I'm a sucker for military. You know, companies that are, are veteran-owned and operated or offer uh, assistance towards military or veterans. Bravo to them. And the other type of company that I'm just a big softy for are family-run businesses. Family-run businesses, unfortunately, are a dime breed, and these are companies that. From my experience, I think they have a much vested, more of a greater interest in your satisfaction and delivering a, a product that's going to help you do or get out and enjoy the craft or whatever that may be. These guys are, boy, I had a great meeting with them. So we met up and had a coffee. And as soon as he showed me, so this is going to be an unboxing, but guys, I know what's in here already. And so they gave me this kit to, to tool around with and review. So get that out of the way. But the quality, so where I'm leading with this here, the quality of this recovery gear is, I was really impressed. And that's to say, I have recovery gear in my vehicle and it it hasn't really checked off enough boxes where I felt comfortable getting in front and sharing and recommending them to you folks. This one I am. And so we're gonna dive into this if I can find my knife. So anyways, we're gonna crack this thing open right here and then you'll be seeing more of this out in the future as well. I'm actually looking forward to getting out there and playing around with some of this gear in here. But let's crack this thing open. And then we're going to go through some of the specs a little bit with this and call it a day. Okay. Boom. I absolutely love the blue color of this here. Now, another thing that really impressed me about this company, they're the product of the product. Both of these people, they get out. They're up in the mountains. Uh, actually, on Friday, we may be heading up and uh, up to Santiago's Peak and meeting up with them up there as well. But both of them are Jeep owners. Uh, the owner... Uh, Derek, he has a, a one of the uh, the electric, or I'm sorry, the hybrid uh, Jeep Wranglers, which was really nice. Okay, speaking of nice, I mean, this is this is the part here. I'm gonna close that back up. That really impressed me right up the get go when I saw the the curb appeal of the bag that this comes in. See, the problem with some of these kits, there's there's a number of kits out there, and they're just kind of cheaply thrown together. And there's a handful of things that I really admired about this. You have these beefy, really tough zippers. The bag is extremely durable. There's some nice padding. And the hardware is really, I mean, these guys didn't cut any corners. And that's what I really, that was kind of the fast track towards catching my attention. Okay, so now we're gonna, let's take out some of the content of inside of here. Oh, that's right. Okay, we'll leave you right there. Boom. Okay. We have a nice shoulder strap here, which I believe just clips right into there. This thing is a beast. All right, so here is, now 
When I met up with the, the owner, he shared with me that this bag is a meant to be a very utility-based bag. So people can use it for a gym bag or whatnot. Um, or in my opinion, this just makes one hell of a badass bag for holding all of your gear. Uh, some of the gears, I, I think I mentioned a moment ago, the kits that I've tested in the past, the bags are usually always the first thing where they really skimp on. And in my opinion, when you have, if you have good quality gear inside of a bag like this, metal gear, especially if you're going around on a bumpy road, the bag's going to take a beating. And then before you know it, you're going to pick it up and there's things falling out of the bottom. There's a gear that I use. Uh, geez, I was just talking to somebody about this as well. Um, I love uh, Camp Chef. Camp Chef is just, I love, I love their stoves. Badass. Uh, this is just testament to what I'm talking about. So the Death Valley trip we just went out on, the bag to hold the um, the Pro 60, the two burner stove that I cooked the pizza on uh, up at uh, Death Valley, this was the first trip bringing it out there and just driving out to location because I put it in the back of my the bed of my truck. Now you may recall there's a rhino spray in the back of there. So it's a little gritty back there. When I got out to location, the bag had all these holes in the bottom of it because that hard metal, okay, is hitting up against it, kind of grinding away at the bottom there. So a good, heavy, durable bag is fantastic. So I'm gonna put this. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna look at the elephant in the room, guys. This is a 30-ton snatch block right here. This thing is. This thing is a beast. And so, yeah, hopefully, let's see, let me get the camera off my face, the focus onto this here. This thing is really, really well made. And so it weighs quite a bit. And the best example, I've always been a fan of weight. I have a snatch block in my uh, truck right now and it's nowhere near built to the specs that these guys built this. So you have this beast. Then on top of that, you have two 30 ton D-ring shackles. And again, these are, these are quite the beast. Okay, then we have a tow and rescue strap here. This is 30 feet by three inches. Oops, let me get it upside down properly. So I'm not gonna unravel that, but it's nice you have the Velcro, keeping that all together. This thing is a beast. And then last but not least, no, it's not last but not least yet. Then you have a eight foot by three inch. This is a tree saver. Uh, and again, like before, you have the, you have the, uh, the Velcro strap holding that all together. Man, I'm still floored. And you'll see why I'm floored about this in a, mo in a moment here. So that's that, you have the tree saver. And then last but not least is what is in here. You know, it's funny. I was taking a look at their kit. I didn't even try on their gloves to see if my fat mitts will fit in. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, so these gloves right here, these are Kevlar reinforced gloves. They feel kind of works out good because the, the gloves in my toolbox down there, well, I actually like the, uh, I like the feeling on the fingertips as well. As many of you know, I operate a lot of cameras out in the field and a lot of gloves, my, my other gloves that I have down there, the fingertips are kind of a little, you know, you don't get that, that the precise feeling that you get. This one right here really feels nice. And the best part about all of this, this entire kit is $399. Compare that to other kits in the marketplace that where you get a kind of a complete uh, recovery kit that are mid 500 and some are even in the 600s. And this is, this is actually beefier. This thing, honestly, this this right here sold me. When I picked this up for the first time, I was like, holy smokes. They engineered the piss out of this thing. But anyways, this is a as complete of a kit as you really need. Oh, and one other thing, with regards to the bag. Guys, this can actually double as a line dampener as well. 
And going back over to the company itself, all of this does come with a lifetime warranty to kind of give you peace of mind. Now it's that time of the video where we're gonna wrap things up with a discussion of our current giveaway. Guys, we have three fantastic prizes up for the grabs. We have the Camp Moon camping folding chair, we have the Powerlix sleeping bag, and of course, the $100 Amazon gift card. As always, entering the giveaway is really simple. Step one, like this video and subscribe to our channel. Step two, leave a comment below. In fact, there are more of our videos that you watch and leave a comment on the more chances that you have to win. So get watching some of our other videos and <laughs> leave some comments. Step three, register on four wheel drive talk and introduce yourself in the form. Now, if you happen to register on the site during one of the last giveaways, you're still eligible to win, but Friend, as I keep saying over and over again, swing and buy, say hello. We would love to see you. And friend, that is it. For complete details on the giveaway, including how to register on 4 Wheel Drive Talk or how to say hello in the forum, check out the description below. Good luck. Well, there you go, friend. This was a, this is a finally done video. As I shared with you in the beginning, when it came to, because again, I have a shackle down in my, my vehicle and kind of a, a mismatched kit, but because all the kits that I've tested in the past, I didn't, you know, there was always something about it that just didn't, it didn't rub, it, it rubbed me the wrong way or it didn't give me enough peace of mind to get in front of you folks to make a recommendation on it, which is why I never did one. But I really love what these guys have done. And on top of that, the price is so affordable compared to some of the other kits on the marketplace. And you're getting a really, Again, what what you're seeing in video compared to how this thing feels in my hand right now, it's, I'm sure there's really no comparison. This thing is really stinking solid. So anyway, you're gonna see a lot more of this coming, well, hopefully not a lot more, because the whole idea of this is you don't wanna use it. This is a great insurance policy, but when it's there, you're gonna appreciate you having a quality product. So I was gonna say, well, you're gonna see a lot more of that. Well, I hope I'm not gonna be getting stuck, but if I do, well, I have the proper gear to get myself out. All right, friend, it's that time of the video where I'm gonna be signing off. Before I do, if you can do me a big favor, if you found some value with this video, hit that like button down below. If you're currently not subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? And last but not least, make sure you smash, kick that bell, so therefore you're notified every single time that we come out with a new video. Friends, my camera's flashing as it's, it's uh, overheating right now, so I'm gonna sign off right now before this thing flat out shuts off. So you get out there, stay healthy, and find your adventure.